a retail chain is making a huge footprint in middle Georgia. The project is supposed to create more than 100 jobs. 41 NBC's Tanya Motorzitski has more on the retailer coming to Monroe County and what it means for the area. Today, Governor Nathan Deal announced Monroe County will be home to Five Below's new Southeast Distributing Warehouse. For those unfamiliar with Five Below, it's a retail store where everything from style, room, and technology is just five bucks. But the really important part for us, obviously, is the jobs um, and the investment in the community. Um, they are buying, like I said, buying and building the building, so they have a long-term commitment to Monroe County. Five Below is investing $70 million into its first Southeast Warehouse location in Monroe County. This is the first building that's been built to suit specifically for them. Which is expecting to bring in 130 jobs. Construction workers are moving fast as a cement base is already put in place. Development Authority of Monroe County President Bo Gregory says Five Below's distributing warehouse is over 700,000 square feet. There was a shovel ready site which is a site that's been prepped. Uh, it's state certified. It has uh, phase one done to it. It's got gas, power, water, everything you need. The warehouse will be off of the Rumble Road exit on I-75, which Gregory says is in proximity to major ports for distributing with Atlanta an hour away and Savannah not far. He says for warehouse future employees, they will surely welcome those coming from outside of the county. We'll continue to push the housing market. It's a great community. Um, it's an excellent place to live. You can get access to all of the things. You got a very safe community. Um, and uh, it's the t one of the target sectors we've been looking at, which is uh, warehouse and distributions. The project is expecting to be, uh, be complete by March of 2020, so that's coming up. Details on applying for a job will come later this year. Shelby? Alrighty, thank you, Tanya. Well, Gregory says the project is just in phase one, and in the years to come, he says there's room for an additional million square feet for expansion, which means more jobs.